One of the people I was keen to meet whilst I was in London was my friend Stephanie Young. Playwright, actress, long time transcendental sunbeam. And she um, has lived houseless in London for years now, about nine years at that time. And I didn't know that until um, maybe a couple of years before the challenge. And by way of introducing her, I'll tell you a bit about how I found out that she was a professional houseless person. And I do love this word houseless. It's different to homeless. Um, you do have a home, you just don't have a house. And that's a way of life. And for Stephanie, it's very much a way of life. So she would house sit in London and had been doing so for years. But we'd always meet in cafes, so I didn't know this until I went to visit her once a summer at a mansion sit, no less, in South Kensington. There's this enormous place, very ornate. Um, I was very surprised when she gave me this address and it was this mansion address and I thought, wow, I wasn't expecting that. So I cycled over, went over to stay with her. And it was only when I was looking through the books on this huge ornate shelf and, and saying to her, I've, I'm really curious, I've liked to get to know people by finding out you know, what books they've got and seeing what they're interested in. And Stephanie said, oh, well, I love doing that too, but those aren't mine. Um, this house isn't mine. And then she told me about her house sitting and I was just absolutely fascinated. I, mean, I think I was probably between vans at the time. And we were sat at this um, massive dining room table in a beautiful wood with a low lamp. She liked to get the lighting just right. I think that was probably part of being in the theatre so long. And um, we were really discussing our accommodation issues, you know, me between vans and her finding that even though she was at this lovely house sit, it was going to end a little bit sooner than normal this summer and she needed to find somewhere else to be. And it was weird. We were sat there saying, isn't it funny us discussing how homeless we are and we're both in a mansion you know right now at this moment we're both in a mansion and, and Stephanie just said yeah is, isn't it interesting so come 2014 summer I'm staying in a house at myself in Hackney and I go along to St Paul's to meet her in a cafe um, and it's wonderful sunny day and Stephanie is, greets me and she's beaming as usual as she does from from everywhere um, and I, I sat and told her about my challenge and I knew that she would have um, some good advice for me. She was very excited by the challenge, um, very excited by what I had already told her that I'd learned so far. And um, really I, what I was at the point of thinking about then was this dilemma, like this sort of contrast between um, wanting to live simply, finding the benefits of, of going away from the money system a little bit, but also feeling that I am very much a modern person and I do want to keep my my phone, my laptop, all of that going and that's the stuff that is really tricky to figure out how to get without money. And uh, talking to her about it, Stephanie, she just looked dead at me and she read me my rights and she said, look, I'm sure that someone as creative and resourceful as you can find a way to get your laptop and get your phone and finance all of your needs without having to compromise your values. What she said is somehow you'll be able to get what you need. Somehow you'll be resourceful enough to get what you need. It doesn't matter if you use money, it doesn't matter if you don't. What matters is where that comes from and that you do it you know, with, the, with the right attitude now that you've discovered these new attitudes that come about when you use less money. Um, then you can take those forward into your life. Stephanie said, it's your relationship with money that's important, not whether or not you're using it. Because I was thinking at this point, what if I go moneyless? I had been thinking about that. What if my money just declines and declines? And then I don't build up from zero. I earn my way back to a healthy living. That was what I said. But what if that didn't use money? So I thought about this very deeply over the course of an enormous meringue and an afternoon with Stephanie, and then went off back to Hackney along the river path and had much to consider.